Oh, hey. Hi, everyone. Mm -hmm. It's Wednesday morning, 11 o'clock. And as you know, it's Real Estate Chat with Jennifer Ho. I am so excited, guys. <laughs> I have a very special guest. She, I want to introduce you, Margie. She is one of my favorite agents here at Douglas Element. Oh, so she is so wonderful. And uh, why don't you introduce yourself? Oh, um, okay. So my name's Margie Borderbrugge, and I'm an interior designer and a real estate agent. And I've been in the business for over 30 years. And I am in Greenwich. And uh, Jennifer and I happen to work together. Hi, so Dennis. Great. Thanks for watching. So, um, as you know, the reason I do real estate chat is because I get all these different questions. And sometimes it's just not... There's just not enough time to answer yeah. them, so I thought, why not? And as you know, Spring Market is just around yeah, the spring corner. Spring Market is just around the corner. And, and uh, one of the things I learned because of COVID, a lot of people have been staring at their homes. Oh yeah, absolutely. Like the Zoom and everything. It's like absolutely. something wrong with this, something wrong with that. But right now, as Margie would say, I would also agree that there's re it's a really good time to sell your home right now. You know, the market hasn't slowed down at all. I, I, I mean, know. I've been terribly busy, and so have you, I'm sure. So, I mean, the market hasn't slowed down. People have been going through COVID. The market right now for home furnishings is not that great, but there are some places that you can buy things that you can spruce up your house with. So, I think that's what we wanted to talk about a little yes. bit today. Yes, so um, since I posted the... Uh, um, the reel yesterday, we had one of, a couple of people asked the same question. Yes, it's a seller's market, which means anything you put on the market right now will sell. Why should I stage my house? Do I still need to stage it? Yeah, that's not really true, necessarily true though, because I don't know that most of you realize that it is the first 10 seconds that somebody, a buyer is walking into your house that they've actually made the decision yes. as to whether or not they like your house. So I think even in a, a market like today, you need to do things to prep your house. It's just not going to fly off, fly out the door if it's not in good condition, if you need to paint, you need to have, yes. say somebody walks into your living room and it looks a little discombobbled. I always say to people, let's just edit it. Let's put the furniture yes. layout the way it should be. You want to have a focal point like your fireplace or whatever, whether it's a fireplace or it may be a sliding door. Mm -hmm. You want to have a focal point. You want to put your furniture around there. You may have to float it. A lot of people may have the misconception of shoving their furniture against the wall. Yes, they do. And then you look like, and then they do their art around the room and it just doesn't look right. So it's just little things like that. Doing your furniture layout properly mm -hmm. to the room, painting, having everything crisp. If you can't afford the paint, you just want to have things touched up a little bit. And the yeah. best thing to do is, I think Jennifer was asking me, how do we spruce things up without you know spending a ton of money and getting the most bang for your buck? And I think it's basically, you can go to Home Goods, Target. Yes. You have these places available to you. Overstock.com, Wayfair. Yes. I just did a project through Wayfair that I couldn't believe everything I was able to get. <laughs> That's so true. I was shocked. I mean, the swivel chairs I wanted, everything was in stock. And that was surprising to me because everybody is, if you're doing special order, they're like, it's three to five months out, which is not the, you know, that's not normal. And well, another thing you could do in sprucing up a home, let's say you have some minor stains. Yeah. You know, like Mr. Clean Eraser, what that could do to stains. And that's like, yeah. What? Under five bucks. Yeah, absolutely. And another nice Just need little, elbow grease. <laughs> and a nice little designer secret that I use a lot is whiteout. Oh, really? Yeah. What so do you do with the whiteout? If you have whiteout and you have little places where maybe the vacuum cleaner did a nick on your oh. on your uh, casing or something, I just take a little whiteout. Say your cabinets are white, and they have a little you know where you're opening constantly opening yeah, the drawer yeah, for the yeah. garbage. Yeah. Or you've nicked something. Just take a little whiteout and you smudge it in, and I'm telling you that makes a whole difference. You know what I use? <laughs> Sharpie. Yeah, Sharpies yeah, are they're good like too. you know like for yeah. you know because you could yep. buy those uh, marker pens. Yep. We did that in the furniture like if, business. You, you could you could find that in Home Depot or yep. Home Goods like mm -hmm. different colored yep. stains of yep. hardwood. Mm -hmm. So if you nick your cabinet or your door, you could just yep. like sharpie it a little bit. That's a great that's a great thing to do. Yeah, and it really does honestly work. Those are good little tips for that kind of thing. But. Um, Basically, you want to make your house appealing the second somebody, actually, before they even step into the house. Yes, the grand, I, I did some, that's what I talked about last week, which is like, yes. yes. 
you know, even whether you just put some potted, you know, they don't have to, right now it's cold, so you could just go and get some fake flour, or it's not yeah. even flowers, but just ferns or something, put them in some urns, and just make it appealing, because as soon as they walk in, you want to have a foyer that is welcoming, if you have a foyer. You want them to come in. You want them to come in, yes. and then once you get them in the door, you want them to really be wowed. And the best way to do it is furniture. Like, I do little things like, um, you know, just tablescapes. You know, I what, call them so, tablescapes. Okay. So say you have your coffee table and you want to just go out and buy some uh, stacked books that you put on there. And then mm. you put a little plan on top. Little things like that, people go, oh my God, that looks so nice. And then they overlook some of the things that yes. you might be trying to not have noticed. You know, even though they're not going to turn up in a building inspection, but somebody might be like, oh my God, I just love the way the furniture is laid out. And I love the way this is done. And that's it's inexpensive so to do. So, well, I well, that's true because you could literally. Yeah, Home Goods is gonna have so much sale after. I this. know Home Goods is the best, one of the better places. Yeah, because you go. know how they have those yeah. trays, mm -hmm. and then I've seen people, as you yeah. said, like put some books, put like yeah. a scented candle. You don't need yeah. to light it up, but it yeah. just makes it it's look just homey. Little, yep, little tablescapes, little areas yeah. throughout the room that you know look nice, and don't have a lot of your personal photos around. You can have a couple here and there, but don't have. A huge pan. If you have, I went into a client's once and they had a baby grand and it was filled with everybody's, you know, photos, which is great. <laughs> they know that the house was loved and everybody, you know, somebody lived there for a long time. So but that's one of the. It, it was a little too much. You know, you really don't want all the kids' photos going up the staircase. You know, you want to take those down and maybe just place them where they would belong normally. Or separate it a little bit. Yes. Less. Yes. Because it's so interesting because if when I go on a listing presentation, yeah, that's the first question they have. Yeah. Because by you know, they would meet different agents and one agent would say, I don't want any photo at all anywhere, then that feels cold. Yeah, that feels cold. I, I right? I've sold many homes of my um, of my own, which my kids can contest to and my husband, but um I leave out some of my, our own personal photos, mm -hmm. but I do them in a in a way that they make sense. How, like or like you, you know you, how you know you put them together like maybe three looking out at the table or like, like one that's a bedside table right. and right. All, like one in an office. Right. Table. Have you had uh, an experience where the wall is full of kids' art when they yeah, were little? Yeah, that's not them? yeah, and that's cute, but it's not something that you really want. Um, that's why you really. I mean, it's not. Listen, you could either do this by yourself or you can also get somebody that will come in on an hourly basis. You don't have to spend a mm -hmm. ton of money to have an, you know, people say interior designer or decorator, you're all of a sudden thinking dollar signs, but that's not always necessarily the case. I mean, there's so many things online too now that can show you how to do a layout for mm -hmm. a room because most rooms are fairly typical. Yes. You know, usually have a fireplace and then, mm -hmm. so that's your focal point, but you could do that. Or if you want to have somebody come in, you could spend maybe a hundred dollars for a couple hours and have somebody come in and just help you through that. But I think it's really important. I think one of the questions you had was about um, whether or not we need to stage yes. a house now because the market's so hot. Um, I think yes. I think Jennifer says yes too. It doesn't mean you have to go and hire somebody and spend thirty to fifty thousand dollars on I just furniture. Think, I just think it adds more value. It does. It, so yes. even if it's a seller's market, mm -hmm. a couple of hundred dollars of yeah. things you could do might think yeah. of it this way: you'll double it. Yeah, it's like that's the most. Like if you spend a hundred dollars yeah. on home goods, just yeah. fixing, you know, prepping things up, or pillows, or just yeah. just even a nice colored blanket, mm -hmm. or you yeah. know, put on top of the bed or a sofa makes it like, oh my god, it's so nice and it's cozy. It's it just cozy. Makes things it adds cozier. color. Yeah, and adds color, some color to the room. Yeah. I mean, if you're selling, um, if you have a house that you have your own furniture and you're like, well, my sofa is very tired and worn, mm -hmm. you know, you could get a nice throw blanket and yes. kind of cover up those little areas. It's really more about the furniture placement and the mm -hmm. things you put around. And pillows aren't expensive. I mean, you could go yes. to a lot of different places to get those items. Um, yes, and people do spend a lot of money for a, a professional stager to come in, but they're bringing in, and we've, I've done that before, I'm sure you have, mm. um, but that is bringing in furniture from their warehouse and kicking most of your furniture out. Generally, what I do is I go in and I'm, I, even when I do design work, I don't kick everything out and start mm -hmm. from scratch because there are things there you can have recovered 
Yes. Um, recovering is a great thing right now too. I mean, because um, it's not as expensive to recover a piece of furniture mm -hmm. as it used to be, and I think that it you can get it done quicker. <laughs> than, That's true. Or you have those slip-ons thing. Yep. Or you have slip-ons too. So yeah. there's a lot of different ways that you can make your house look appealing. The only thing though. Just don't go crazy on the pattern. No, 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 no. You keep mostly everything solid with a yes. little pop of color or a little pattern, and that will help it out. And then window, tr you know, depending on what you have on your windows too, not necessarily that you have to have every, you know, something like on them, but I did something from Bed Bath & Beyond. I got these gorgeous linen panels, and they had the poles, and I think I did four windows for somebody, and the total cost was $200. Yeah. Yeah. And it looked amazing. I mean, and these are panels that if you went online to someplace more expensive, the caliber of the panels were just as nice. Yeah. So I did that actually at my daughter's place in Charleston. And they were, they look great. And there's something about lighting right now. You don't need to change the light fixture. All you may need yeah. to do is change the light bulb. Change they're the Because they're different yeah. kind of like, you know how like some, some light bulbs yeah. are more natural. The other ones are more Little, bright, that yeah. kind of thing. Play around and see which, which yeah. light actually would work on your house. And lighting's really important in a house. And yes. that, again, too, you can go out and buy a few lamps. Yes. Know, or you can only, you could also, if you like the base of your lamp, uh, I'm sure you have a lamp store near you, you could Get just buy shade. new shades. Yes. And that will make a difference. You know, when things look a little tired, that's a turnoff for buyers. They're really looking for something that looks very crisp and clean and neat. And I think there's a lot of ways to do that without you know, breaking the bank. And if budget is really an issue, go to a thrift store. Yeah. You'd be surprised what you could find at a thrift yeah. store for like five, six dollars. Yeah. You just need to clean it a little bit with like do some yeah. elbow grease, <laughs> yeah. but th that's, that's pretty much it. Yeah. So, you know, so th that's one of the things that they were asking. So it, she has given you a lot of good tips on um, how to make your house, you know, pretty and nice just with simple things as pillow. Pillows, uh, blankets, blankets and lighting. lighting and like, you know, just changing the um, reupholster, your furniture and everything mm -hmm. like that. And the thing is like on the bedding. Yeah, bedding's key too. Bedding is very important. Yeah, bedding. People like to see a nice bed. Well, one of the things that I always tell clients and I do it myself if I can, most of the time it's if you can. You want the bed facing out. Yes. You want to walk into the room and have the bed facing out. In fact, I just did that for one of my listings that's going to close this month, actually in March. I went into her bedroom upstairs and it was at an angle and it really was cutting off most of the room. So that was my first comment to her and I was just meeting her for the first time, maybe why I got the listing, but um, she and I hit it off. But I was like, we need to move your bed and put it. And she was like, well, I don't want to put it between the windows. And I'm like, that's fine. Yeah, And it made such a huge difference. It made the room so much bigger. And then you were walking into the room and then you do, you want to do pillows in the back of the headboard and then also in the front of the headboard, maybe a couple little throws. So you want to build it out a little bit and then you want to have a nice little throw at the bottom. So you that, can, I tell you, that throw makes such a yeah, big difference. Yeah. It, it, cause I did a photo, you know, like uh, one of my rentals in Clubhouse. And it's just like the bed is not everything is nice, but there's something missing. Yeah, it's, it's at just the end a habit of the bed. at the end yeah. of the bed. It and anchors the end of the bed. It, it does, yeah. and it, and I thought like I'm not an interior designer. What do I know how to place? I forget it. I just folded it, put it in the corner. It's like, damn, that really yeah, looks it good. Yeah, really good. Yeah, I mean that's all you do. And then you also want to have um, you could go buy a mat lisse. You know, have it be white. Don't get into a lot of colors on your bed. Have your pillows do the coloring. You know, your little throw pillows, but don't have. I always say get a white mat lisse. White is key. White is one of the better colors. Yes, because I mean, it could go I, with anything and everything. Yes, white is white's key. If you're going to paint, don't go with these colors that you think that you absolutely love. Blue is a great color, and I'm a blue person, but I paint everything white, and I do high gloss on the trim always, yeah. and then I do uh, matte on the walls or. Um, I want to say uh, the kind that you can wash off easily. I can't think what it is, but right now lacquer, not lacquer. Um, oh, the, yeah, uh, yeah, 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 the Chinese one. I can't think yes, what it is, but yes. it's uh, so you do the walls in that. But you always do high gloss on your um, trims, and then do it in white, and then you can play with color throughout the rooms that you like because that's removable. And, and not only that, it's by doing that if you want to change the look of your house, mm -hmm. just. So simple thing as pillows again yeah. Yeah. will change the look of it yeah. really yeah 
But if you have like, people don't want to walk in, you know, there's listings that we walk into all the time and we're like, okay, people like consistency throughout yes. the rooms. You want your rooms to flow together. And when we walk into listings that have, for instance, all the colors that somebody loves and one room is mango, one room is a different color, you know, there's no, there's no continuity. So people really, that immediately, that will turn a buyer off immediately because like I said it's the first 10 seconds of them walking yes. into a home and if they see all that they're all of a sudden dollar signs are cha-ching 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 and they're like I don't they think they have to repaint yeah, everything yeah. And, oh. and they don't okay I have another question for you this but, is one of the things that uh, I didn't think uh, we would bring it up wallpaper apparently wallpaper is in now with prints yes Bold it is prints. again yeah it is again it, it is but again you have to use that um you have to use that in the sense of where you're going to put it. Like, I think I would not personally do a huge room in it. Yeah. I might do, like, my powder room. I do have wallpaper. Yes. I do have wallpaper in my butler's pantry. In the littler rooms, I do do some wallpaper. And I know that it's come back again. And yeah. I do, and I actually, I take that back. I actually did my foyer in a Serena and Lily wallpaper going in the foyer and up. And that was it. But it was a very pretty neutral, not shocking to the eye wallpaper, and it tied right. in all the other rooms. So you can do that. Foyers are great to do wallpaper in, powder rooms, uh, even your master bath, but don't go too crazy. Yeah. Um, and again, it all has to flow together. You don't want to do a tree of life pattern in here and then do another pattern in there that is going to fight with it. Because again, your eye, when you come in your front door, your eye, client's eyes are always going this way and this way you know how you pan yeah like take, right. taking photo that's that's, that's what, what they, they do, do. And, yeah. and the thing is like as as margie said the first 10 seconds i always say it's, it takes it, four it, seconds and like nope not doing yeah, it yeah no they do and i just and i i was out this weekend with my daughter and her husband buying and they're in a you know pretty sweet spot range right now yeah. um and i was shocked at what people I was kind of pleased at some of them because I was like, okay, these guys are doing the right thing staging the house because they're in the $500,000 mm -hmm. range. I don't know if I should say that, but anyway. Um, and so some houses I went to and I was like, oh my gosh, these guys know what they're doing. They did yeah. some tablescapes. Everything was neatly done. Everything They had done everything right to begin with, the white kitchen or whatever that would be more appealing mm -hmm. to, to a buyer. And then I went into some homes and I just could not believe what I was seeing. You know, they didn't make any attempt, none, whatsoever yeah. on the exterior or the interior and and I was like who's gonna buy you're gonna get less money you know you're all you know you think oh I'm gonna put it on and I'm gonna get multiple bids well not everybody's gonna do that because no. all of a sudden they're thinking we've got to do this backsplash we got to do this we got to do that and they're not going to and and the thing is like you know I deal a lot with buyers one of the things that's very important when you're showing a house or if you put your house in the market, if you don't have the funds to fix things up, yeah. number one thing you really need to do is take everything out. Yeah. You'll be then surprised. Empty it. Empty it. Yeah, or sometimes like, it's better. Empty. It is better. Sometimes it is. Because the thing is like, I know people, they because there's no room, they stuff everything in one room. And the thing is like, what you have to understand is it makes a room small when you have too much stuff in it. Well, when you have too many mix mix of things, like, like where you could barely walk, right? If you can't fit a king size bed, right, don't. right, then don't put a king size and, bed. or like and a dresser, or, or and and a dresser right. among other right. things, and there's no room. You need to see some floors in the house. Yeah, <laughs> that's yeah. what I always yeah. say. And, and and what I tell my sellers most of the time is, if you walk in this house, mm -hmm. would you buy it, or will you yeah. pay half a million for it? For you pay a million, it's like no, why not? This, yeah. this, this. Then think you have of to it look at this it way. Objectively. Yes. Yeah. So, look at it as if you're buying a yeah. house, would you pay for this house? Right. And they say right now, the best thing you need to do if you want to put your house on the market, other than getting the right agents, yeah. is like definitely clean it. Yeah, it has to be nice and, and nice clean. Nice and clean. It has to smell fresh. Yes. I mean, there are a lot of things like that too that make, make sense. I mean, if you feel that your your furniture is too discombobulated or you've gotten some furniture from your grandmother and then you've got some furniture that you bought you want to make things a little more cohesive so you might have to kick some things out 
And if you don't want to get rid of them, then either get a storage unit if you can, or yes. put them down in your basement in a certain area. But try and make your rooms more cohesive, yes. and that is what will help sell your house. And the floor plan part of it, um, again, you could go online and look at different floor plans based on your room, and see. And if, like um, Jen said, if you can't, if you have a king size bed in a room that only fits a queen. Then I mean maybe you can't just afford take everything else out. Then, then take everything yeah. else out and maybe just leave one thing in there. But you don't yeah. have to have too much for too much furniture is too much. Yes, you know so that makes sense. Well, the too. thing is like also if like you have too many dressers and everything like that, then the first thing that my buyers will say like, is there not enough closet in here? Right. True. That's true. So that they will. Then, they, then it's like you're telling them that yeah. you know there's something wrong with the house. Or let's say, like for me, I'm hot all the time. Like I'm wearing sleeveless in the dead winter. So if I, if you have a fan or anything, just because for whatever reason, hide them. Yeah, they would think the there's fans. something yeah. wrong. We, yeah. There's something wrong yeah. with your heat, or there's something wrong with the AC. Yeah, you know things like that. Little things like fans. I mean, people do like blowing fans on them at night, but put that away so yeah. people don't see it. I mean, that's a that's a big buzzkill, I think, for somebody when they walk in. <laughs> yes. We had one other thing. I remember doing a house where the woman had um, those little aerosol things that spurt out the... Um, oh, yes. The scent things. Yes. They were plugged in everywhere. The plugins, yes. And we actually had asked her to take them out because it was almost as if she was hiding something. You know, so, you know, and because it, it was just overkill. So she did, and it made a big difference. Two things, I think, because I just did an inspection yesterday, and... The owner just liked music, mm -hmm. but it was so loud. Well, they bought it already and everything. It's like, if you're going to put music, you might think it's like very welcoming for it's homeowners. <laughs> they think you're hiding something. What noise do you want to hide? True. And, and the thing is like, if you are going to put uh, scented candles, she's right. Don't do plug-ins because they're always the smell. Yeah, it's it's too just much. too much and too strong, you no matter even if the lowest setting. You're better off, yes, do a candle, but don't have five candles in one. There's yeah. one time it's just like, whoa, yeah. what's that smell? Yeah. Make it as subtle as possible. Yeah, make it as subtle as possible. I always have Febreze in my car, I don't laugh, because like when something like, I would space yeah. Febreze. <laughs> something comes up. <laughs> something comes up, I was like, I would have Febreze all the time. It's amazing that what, the, yeah. you know, what that bottle can do. Yeah. Now they have like apple cinnamon or anything. Yeah, they have all nice. kinds of different yeah. scents. But you don't want too much of that going on yes. in the house. So I think it's really the things that we're talking about today is basically if you want to sell your house, you don't have to necessarily hire a stager, right? If yes. You, you can do it on your own if you have a good, you know, not everybody has a good eye and they can't always figure out where to put things. But if you go online... Or go to Instagram. Or go to Instagram and maybe see what somebody else has done. Or yes. you can um, also hire somebody if you want. There are plenty of people out there that will work on an hourly basis just to come in and help you with paint colors and things. But you want to do this prior to even thinking about listing. Maybe even a couple months out because yes. there's work to be done. You just don't all of a sudden want to put your house on the market and not have done it right. I, I always say, you know, before you put your house on the market... Yeah. Call us because yeah, we can absolutely. tell you because yeah, people will tell you what really needs to be done. Yeah. Sometimes sellers was like, oh, I need to do this, 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 which basically the things that they're thinking actually is not going to bring any, it's any not going it, right. to, it doesn't bring any right. value back. Yeah. And instead of like doing simple things, yeah, we're not saying hide stuff. It's like, no, there are no, you things, don't things, you don't want to hide things, right. but the thing is like, Oh, I want to paint the whole house because, like, you know, it looks dated. Sometimes, like, a simple Sometimes power that's, wash yeah. would, right. would suffice. Right. Sometimes that's not always necessary. Or, like, I need to redo my kitchen because it's old. It's, like, six yeah. years old. It's, like... Simple not, not black necessarily, bath. right? Or like yeah. sometimes changing the simple refrigerator because yeah. it's so dated that just change out a cup, maybe an appliance here or there. I don't know. Or just paint it. the cabinets yeah. or something. Yeah, painting the cabinets is good. We we um, sometimes in our business it's hard hard because you want to be able to go in and tell yeah you know tell um, help a homeowner give them ideas but then some people take it personally too oh my and god so you yes. have to be really careful about that but um and do it gently but you know we are the first people in the house yes. and we know what the market is like and 
we can help you um, prepare your house for the market. I think that's always the best. That's way. why we're here, really, yeah. more than anything. Yeah, more than anything. I yeah. just, you know, for me, I do both, so it's easy. You know, and Jennifer's done. You know, with your experience, but you know, mine is a lot of design experience and real estate experience. But it's kind of like, it's what we do. Yeah, we just want you to get the most bang for your buck when you're selling exactly. your home, and, and again. Like, you don't really need to spend a lot of money. Right. That, there, it's a misnomer more than anything that you have to spend right. tens yeah. and thousands of dollars. No, you really don't. Yeah. And it also, again, it depends on what your price point is yes. in your home. You know, if you're selling a multi-million dollar house, absolutely, people are looking yes. for everything to be perfect. perfect. Yes. You know, and even in those cases, you can still use some of the furniture that you have and reupholster it or just add it. You exactly. Know, um, Ed edit it. That's edited. actually that's perfect. Word Editing for it, yes. is a good word. I mean, yeah. um, you want it, you know, and you know, again, even if you're selling a, your first house that you bought and it's a one bedroom condo, you still want to make it very appealing for somebody to come in. Mm -hmm. And those are simple things where you're not breaking the bank. So I hope we have. Thank you so much. <laughs> if you have any other questions, I know I'm gonna get a lot of DM from you, and I welcome that. Thank you so much, guys. I really appreciate Thanks you for joining us. That was fun. Thank you, Margie, for yeah, coming. You know, she is an amazing woman. I love Thank her you. dearly. <laughs> and if you. you need anything, we're here. Thank you know you where so to much. find us. Thank you so much. <laughs> Thanks, Jennifer. Take care. Take care. Bye. Bye.